Hello, this is Fran Calhoun, your Intergovernmental Affairs Manager with Fulton County Government. Crossover day for the 2023 Georgia Legislative Session has passed, and the pace of activity is swift as legislators work to get bills adopted before their preset date to end the year session, which is March 29. And despite a slow start, legislators moved quickly to pass the FY 2023 amended budget, and the House has already sent the FY 2024 budget to the Senate, which includes a $6.6 million line item for a behavioral health crisis center for Fulton County. Securing this much needed funding is the county's top legislative priority for the year. The Senate has also received the year's mental health omnibus bill, which builds on House Bill 1013 from last year's session. The new bill, House Bill 520, will prevent housing discrimination for hate behavioral health patients, perform, perform a statewide bed study to determine the state's behavioral health care needs. It'll also create a pilot program to look at best practices for health screening in the state's jails around mental and behavioral health issues. It'll also recruit mental health workers uh, with student loan forgiveness incentives and, and much, much more. We'll certainly be updating you on this, this important and critical bill for our state and our county. Another groundbreaking bill is House Bill 404. This is called the Safe at Home Act. And this bill for the first time in Georgia would require that landlords provide and maintain rental housing that is fit for human habitation. And this will ensure that rental homes are in livable condition at all times. The bill also would limit security deposits to the equivalent of three months rent. It will also provide some increased protections for tenants facing eviction. And on the elections front, while there were several new bills this year, only one crossed over. Senators voted 33 to 23 to advance Senate, Senate Bill 222, which will ban all forms of non-public contributions for Georgia elections. It's expected that language from the other bills that did not get a vote will be added to this Senate bill. In addition to the county's top legislative agenda item, other county priorities are advancing also, and those include efforts to enhance the technology within the probate court system. This technology enhancement would be uh, achieved through a, the collection of a $5 technology fee, and that is moving as a local bill through the Georgia House. Senator Sonia Halpern is also advancing a local bill that will remove the requirement for Fulton County seniors to renew their homestead exemptions. And finally, we do have a general bill that is advancing on behalf of the Fulton County State Court judges, which will reestablish their ability to enroll in the county's retirement plan. There are many more bills to share and we will continue to monitor those and to track those on behalf of the county and our residents. We will share more soon as we head towards Sine Die.